Now, red-headed crocodile skinks have to be one of the most unique looking reptile out there. Pretty much a mini dragon with a golden ring around the eye. I do believe there are very few reptiles that can rival that aesthetic. And however, putting looks aside, there are definitely a few things I think you should know before getting a red-eyed crocodile skink. Definitely some things that can make you a little more hesitant on getting one, or even some that can make you deter getting one altogether. With all that being said, let's get into the first thing you need to know, which is the fact is, they're really hard to care for. Yes, crocodile skinks are not like your average reptile. This isn't gonna be your ball python or crested gecko, folks. These guys are a little bit more sensitive and definitely need a little bit more uh, in-tuned care, I guess. The husband tree really needs to be spot on when it comes to crocodile skinks. Of course, they love that high humidity, even to the point where most people, much like dart frogs, seem to switch them to bioactive for live plants, things like that, a deep substrate layer, making sure it retains that humidity and keeps it at a constant. This is definitely not a reptile for the first time keeper. You're really gonna have one to understand reptile Hudson train really how to keep it and maintain it uh, with that being said I really just the care for the croc skink a little difficult a little hard I gotta say hey at least when you make a bioactive enclosure you got something nice to look at because this is gonna bring us to the second thing you need to know that's the fact you will never ever see your crocodile skink, dear lord. <laughs> yes, the crocodile skink is a very shy and reclusive animal, uh, probably one of the most in my collection. I mean, I, I see my red-eyed tree frogs more often than I see my crocodile skinks out and about. Uh, many times you're going to see your crocodile skinks usually between the time of dawn and dusk when it's early morning or when it starts getting later in the day. I've seen mine out every so often. Uh, however, for the bulk majority of the time, they are going to be hiding in the multiple, multiple hides you'll need to provide a crocodile skink in order for it to feel secure. Honestly, I believe secretive is an understatement for these guys. Uh, as far as the crocodile skinks go, I've never seen my crocodile skinks eat. I've never seen my crocodile skink breed. I've never seen my crocodile skinks lay eggs. Um, half the time, I don't find the eggs. They actually, I mean, I feel like with most keepers experience, they kind of, they're doing some maintenance, looking at a hide. Oh, hey, baby crocodile skink. That kind of how it happens, really. Just a very shy, reclusive animal. You know what, I take back what I said earlier. I actually do believe most people do bioactive enclosures for their crocodile scenes, because at least it just doesn't look like an empty tank. You have some nice plants to look at because that's what you're gonna get. An empty tank for the most part. Until, you know, the once a month you see the crocodile sink and you're like, hey, I remember you. Wow, been a minute, pal. All right, all right, enough about how secretive and recluse the crocodile skink is, enough about how hard they are to care for. Let's get into the third topic, or the third thing you need to know, which is number three, they stress very easily. Honestly, I think these guys are most related to the chameleon as far as the husbandry and keeping goes. I mean, my God, these are just not that fun of a reptile. You know, we saw it before. Ooh, dragon, golden ring. Oh, what? what is all this? Yes, this is why I'm making this video. Uh, crocodile skinks do stress very easily. Um, you gotta, you, you gotta be real careful with them. You can't be willy-nilly. You gotta definitely have the correct setup again. Planted bioactive is a pretty go-to. Uh, plenty of hides, like I mentioned earlier. You wanna make sure that animal feels as secure as possible. Uh, honestly, as far as hides go, I recommend four, even five, depending on your setup. Maybe even more if you got something bigger. Uh, right now, personally for me, I believe I have five different hides. Um, two on the warmer end where the UVB is. We got some on the water area, some on the cool end, one in the middle. We got some plants that he can hide under, and he also also burrow, so... <laughs> the, more I, the more I'm talking in this video, I, I'm thinking to myself, man, why would anyone want a crocodile skink? <laughs> oh, right, right, they look like a dragon, I forgot. Yeah, they look really cool. Just gotta keep telling my, you gotta keep telling yourself, don't Dakota, they look really cool. It doesn't matter about all these cons. They, you know what, yeah, they're hard to care for. Um, yeah, they need this and they stress easily and you never see them, but hey, you, if you wanna see them, you could just take the animal out, right? I mean, that's not that bad. Whoa, hold your buck, buckaroo. That's gonna bring us to the fourth thing you need to know is the fact that can't handle them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Listen, pal, were you not listening to topic number three when we were talking about they stress easily? That includes handling. This is absolutely not a reptile to handle, folks. Uh, pretty much with the red-eyed crocodile skink, um, I'm trying real hard to think of some good, oh, they look like a dragon. That's, <laughs> that's the only thing that comes to my mind. They swim sometimes, I, 
That's it. Hannibility is definitely a no-no when it comes to the red-eyed crocodile stink. I know you're gonna see some pictures on Facebook about some ignorant folks that are out there handling their crotch and they're like, look how calm he is. He's just being held in my hand. Well there, buckaroo. You didn't really understand crocodile stink behavior. When you're handling a crocodile stink, 90% of the time they are gonna freeze up as a defense mechanism, similar to the hog nose as it pretends to die. The crocodile stink just tenses up and freezes. It doesn't wanna be seen. This is extremely stressful for this animal. In extreme situations you can actually hear the animal make a calling noise kind of like a squeak I kind of a crocodile squ cro <laughs> crocodile squeak <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whether they're squeaking, trying to run away from you, or just being frozen in your hand, there's one thing I can guarantee you, it's the fact that this is not something that's fun for the animal, the animal's not having a good time, and if anything, it is only detrimental to the health of the animal. As we know with reptiles, extra stress weakens the immune system for in science ways, and that just doesn't make them live as long. A longer lifespan, I, I, you know, I don't have the facts behind this, but what I can say is anecdotal evidence of if you handle a crux sink every day and you don't handle one every day, I'm pretty Pretty sure the one that doesn't get handled every day is gonna live longer. Facts. Before we wrap this video up, I'll just give a little bit of a bonus tip. Not so much as you need to know, but more as a little, little bonus care tip. That's gonna be the fact that it definitely provide your crocodile skink with somewhat of a large body of water. Not a deep body of water, but a wide body of water. These guys definitely enjoy soaking. It's in fact what I find mine do most of the time. Uh, definitely, but while also having that water area, also make sure you have an area for they dry off. You definitely want the, want the animal to stay at a constant wet that can invite some many things, you know, scale rot, bacterial infections, fungal infections, things like that, things you don't want. So dry area, very wet area, 100% humidity, which is water. Well, there you have it, folks. We went over a little bit of cons. You know, the, they're hard to care for. They're very secretive. They hide most of the time. You're not going to see them. They stress out very easily. Uh, you can't handle them. Uh, you know, just a, a few itty bitty cons. But hey, we also got all those pros. Um, they look cool. They look cool. Huh. What did you guys think? Were you on the on the fence about getting a crocodile sink? Or maybe you were one of those people that really wanted one, you watched this video and now you're like, you know what, Dakota, I actually don't think I want a crocodile sink anymore. Drop a comment down below. Are you is did this deter you away? Do you not want the croc sinks anymore? Are you like, you can't tell me what to do, Dakota? I don't care about the multiple, multiple cons these animals have. I'm getting it no matter what. Drop a comment. And hey, if this wasn't enough of the red-eyed crocodile skin content that you came here for, we got a nice playlist right over here or somewhere in this frame of a red-eyed crocodile skin playlist. We got some other awesome videos you guys should definitely check out. Of course, go down there, hit that sub button, hit or smash that like button. And that's going to be it. We will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.